Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how to work with if statement in C sharp. So basically, if is a decision making statement like if else, switch and others. So the statements in the body of if gets executed only if the statement evaluates to true. If the if statement evaluates to false, all these statements are skipped and the control actually passes to the next statement after the if. So let us understand this easily. I just said if the if condition is true, the body of if gets displayed. If the if condition is false, all these body stuff gets skipped and the statement below the if construct gets printed. That's it. Look, it's so easy. So herein we will see an example. Let's see. So herein you can see our example. Right now we are only having a namespace. A namespace namespace is the collection of classes. Under class, we have only a single method main. Why? Because main method is actually the entry point of any C sharp program. So here we have a simple line understanding if statement and console dot read key so that we can allow our output to be visible and to vanish only when we will press any key. So within that we will write our code. We will first take a variable. Let's say our variable name is int v is equal to 50. So we have a variable v integer type we are using if statement so let's say if uh, v is less than 100 then our statement will get printed if statement it's fine now so when i'll print this since the value of v is less than 100 this line will get printed that's it i'll save it save all i'll run it now Now you can see it is showing that the answer is true. If I want to display the output in next line, I'll just write line here and I'll just save it again. Press enter, I'll close it and, and I'll run it again. Now here in guys, you can see the answer is true because the value is less than 100. I'll close this or I'll press enter. Here in we have also shown you that if the value is false, the next line after the if construct will get printed. For that, these brackets and I'll show you here. Now I'll write a line here. Let's say actual value of v is equal to v. Okay, this is fine. Now let's say I have placed 200 here. Now it will go under this condition. We are checking for false condition. I'll write here. The previous one was true. So 200 is less than 100. No. So it won't go inside. It will skip basically this right align statement and will print the following value. The actual value of V will get printed. Let's see. File. Save all. Herein you can see it only printed the actual value of v is equal to 200. Why? Because this statement is false. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily understand the if condition in C sharp. We saw both the conditions true as well as false. If you like the video do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.